Okay. Been in this hallway a couple times already. I feel like nothing's ever gonna happen in this hallway. It's just like a transitional piece they keep using. This is an elevator. Yep, that's what I want. After all these things happen, I wanna be trapped in this tiny box. Close you, yep, make sure you're good and closed. I guess that's the way we're going. Oh, that's a... Saw that. All right, we're getting into more classical creepy stuff now. Past catches on. All of the doors are locked. Oh, that's creepy as fuck. Oh my god. I mean, I guess we gotta go in here. Oh, okay. That looks so much like that. That was so well done. Where's the light switch? No. Dear sir, while I can certainly understand that you are upset and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Oh no, something happened. Personally speaking, I believe we've done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think that writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. That's not a real word. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any future correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green, MD. All right, so this painter sounds like he's kind of a hothead. For sure. God, I can't get over how well done that was. Oh, piano music. This hallway has changed. Oh. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Don't make me bang. Hmm. Music stopped. Oh, that door's unlocked now. Yeah, I don't want to go up there. We're good. Look at these books. These are some nice books. Oh, that's a nice, nice closet. I definitely hear mice. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of mice in the attic. All right, well, let's, let's go up. There's a fire. Oh my God, it's a big fire. Oh, this is weird. This attic isn't like above a house. Seems extremely dangerous. All right, something's gonna happen when I open this door. 100%, 100%. -y. 
Nothing happened. I'm not good at predicting this game. The doll? That will not stay open. Oh. It screamed and turned into blood. Okay. That's not fair. <laughs> they make it hard to open so that I fight with it. And then when it gets fully open, it spooks me. This game's really good at like tricking you into thinking you're not going to get scared. And then scaring you. Or I just haven't played many horror games. We'll see. Rat traps. Oh, correspondence. The following list is a compilation of the most common symptoms of schizophrenia. While typically diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 25, the disorder is known to affect older patients as well. Note that these symptoms are not exclusive to schizophrenia and should by no means be treated as conclusive evidence of this particular affliction. In order to obtain a proper diagnosis, you should contact a qualified specialist, i.e. psychologist, psychiatrist. Blank expression, stares off into space, yes. Involuntary facial movements, yes. Insomnia, yes. Haven't noticed. I don't know if this is me though. This could be someone else. Unusual gestures or postures, always had that. Unable to experience joy from activities, definitely. Okay, this is probably me. Depersonalization. What does that even mean? <laughs> Awkward, clumsy movement might be from the accident. True. Prone to anger, resentment. <laughs> yes. Lack of motivation. Yes. Yeah. Suicidal tendencies, question marks, and exclamation. I mean, haven't seen any of that. Self-destructive tendencies, for sure. I definitely hear mice. Inspired OCD. Well, that's an achievement. Wake, oh, make up your mind. Oh, the deer's back. Someone has cleaned it up and removed the doll from it, or it just turned to blood and fell off. Who knows? What we've got is a lot of poorly made paintings that just kind of melt away, and a bunch of dolls that just spontaneously turn into blood. Not a very kid-friendly house. I'm just waiting for the deer head to fucking move. It's got, uh, like, yellow? On its mouth? I don't know if that's paint or what. That light won't turn on. Oh. Called it. Deer head moved. Was I supposed to see something when the lightning flashed? I didn't see anything. Ooh, I've seen this picture before. I think I've seen it on Reddit. I definitely have. Okay, so I don't know that yet. That seems like it's gonna be hard to do. Oh, I guess it's not that hard. Alright. Nothing creepier than a grandfather clock ticking. 
I never want a clock that like actually takes in my house. It's written backwards. I can't really read it. It seems insane though. This globe, the globe's gonna mean something. It keeps popping back up. I think it's another language. Oh, no, 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 it's not. Undone? It, oh, it cannot be undone. Oh. That was weird. It looked kind of like a face. I was kind of expecting that one. Not, wasn't expecting that. Oh, I can read it now. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I have to go back in here. Oh, I can't go. It's like... It's like a mirror painting? Where, what can I do then? Oh, I can go in here. Oh, there's yellow. Whew. I feel like that would make a lot quicker plan to talk to. I hear a dog barking. I just realized, oh. Creepy. I just realized with my head bob, it shows the limp. Because it bobs just a little bit to the right every time. That's neat. It's a nice little attention to detail. Oh, good boy. Honey, remember how you said it would be nice to have a cat so the baby could have someone to play with? Well, I just I bought just us a dog. <laughs> oh. Hmm. The little aww at the end makes me think she was not very happy about the dog. Which makes sense, because she wanted a cat. This guy doesn't seem like a good listener. Oh, that's a wheelchair. That must be mine. I hurt my leg. There was an accident. It must have been that accident at the show thing that I read about. I bet you that's what caused it. A once great artist's new painting laughed at a gallery. Sad. What we witnessed today, while entirely worthless in artistic terms, might be an invaluable case study for psychologists. Oof. These harsh words came from none other than Jason Hughes. The famed critic was one of the first to appreciate the works of blank, and whose praise once contributed to his first spectacular success. When asked if such brutal criticism was indeed called for, especially in light of the recent tragic events, Hughes responded, as critics, it is our duty to critique art, but not to judge the artist. The man has been through a lot lately, and obviously it has taken its toll on him. Still, if we were to remain silent and pretend this is even remotely acceptable, we would be doing the artist a great disservice. Other critics were only slightly more lenient as the blank. Yeah, it's burnt up. Ah, oh, that's awful. Come on. The guy had something bad that we don't know about happened to him. Cut him some slack. This is going to go twisty or creepy. It's too long a hallway for nothing to happen by the time I get to the end of it. Yeah, this creepy double painting. That one's, no, that one's still a double painting. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a rat. We're at the end of the hallway again. Oh my god. But things have changed. Ooh. My wheelchair is now goopy. 
Is this, can I go into both rooms? Is this room locked? Both rooms lead to the same room. Right? 100%. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Well, we'll have to call someone in the morning to get that fixed. Just gonna spend the rest of the night going crazy and remember to call the repairman in the morning. Everything's locked, so when I walk... Oh, that door opened. The door opened itself completely. And then my vision went a little wobbly. Alright, turn on the lights. Did nothing. There's a key. The door closed. The lights turned off. There's a very big rat. That is a very big rat. That is getting dark and like. I should answer it. Oh. I can't answer it. Yeah, I can't answer it. I'm just going crazy. Oh. Oh, the lights got rid of the blackness? The door's locked. I have a key. Feels like there should be something right here. Yeah, okay. Oh, I scratched up both faces. on the ground. Ooh. This house is absolutely amazing. Oh, but those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. <sighs> what was locked that I need a key for? I mean this door. Oh, this door. Oh, we're back in the waterlogged hallway. This is new. Unleash your inner beauty with the new Glamour Fusion Max. Say farewell to acne scars, enlarged pores, and other unpleasant skin conditions. The new Glamour Fusion Max Concealer will give your skin a healthier look and a smoother feel. Don't think of it as covering up deficiencies. Think of it as unleashing your inner beauty. Well, now I'm thinking of it covering up deficiencies. Why would they say that? Everything I struggle opening now, I just think of that fucking doll turning into blood. Oh, back in the bedroom. Okay, is the wine gonna fall? No, this is normal. It's not even wine in there now. Pro 
Prothesis snatchers, insatiable bastards. Can't afford a new one. Why the damn leg? Sad. Someone stole my leg at some point? That's brutal. Why would you even steal that? You can't sell it. You're going to sell a used fake leg? Oh. Oh. Oh, I made it work. Oh, this is, this is triggering. This is triggering something. Oh, the painting is melted. That is a good indicator things are about to get crazy. Oh, the painting has stopped changing. It's going to get creepy as soon as I get close to it. It looks, I think that's a memory. It's like her dad, it, I think I, I think I killed her. Yeah, I think that's definitely, or like, I don't know, it looks like, it doesn't look like he's trying to save her. It looks like he's like winding up to hit her. And I feel like, like I feel like it's like a memory, not like a real painting. Not sure where I'm supposed to go. I just hear the whispering getting louder. I'm like trying to get to wherever. Hmm. I don't know what to do now. Maybe I'll do it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Why would I do this again? It's clearly driving me insane. Oh, my God. The bed's melting. That's cool. Oh, my. Oh, oh what's that? I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew oh. how it was done. Oh my god. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. And put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? <laughs> yeah. That's what a normal insane person would have done. Oh. So did he do that to himself? I think he killed his wife by accident. By siphoning her blood to make his paintings. Do I have to do it again? It's already, everything's melting. I think I have to do it again. What's this? Oh, the key. Oh, it's like returning things to normal. Okay, cool. So I can get out now. Because the door isn't melty anymore. And I have a key. And I have a bottle of uh, blood. Because that's important for some reason. Oh, cool. I got the paint. I got the vial of blood. I can finish my painting. Perfect. There are more in this. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I feel like 
this is like home base and I'm gonna keep filling this up as the game goes. That makes sense. I can't stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You're sweating and shaking on all night and now there you are, locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. Yeah, I think I think this guy went crazy. He killed his wife by accident, siphoning her blood to make paint. And then everyone thought it was, um, oh, stop like... Oh, looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work. That's all. That's all. Yeah, and he started drinking a lot. And I think, yeah, I think everyone blamed it on her dying, like him going off the deep end. But I think he was already going off the deep end before she died. Oh, oh god, it's so creepy. Best I looked for a canvas, not just any canvas. I had to find a knife, not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Boost helped to keep my hand steady. Oh. That's locked. I don't, I don't even really want to know what's behind them. Oh, so we continue the painting. Alright, that's getting even creepier. Cool. Lost alone, yeah. What do we got? Okay. Form emerges. Form emerges? So I should... I still don't quite get it. I think there's a person like lifting up of something here. Oh, this one opens. Oh, so this is going to tell the whole story like as I go. So yeah, so this canvas is made of skin. There's blood in the paint. We're doing good. 